just getting started here if you're already tuning in. Uh, you're already tuning in. Let me know how video looks, how sound is. Done a lot of adjusting recently. Should be decent. Go ahead and move here. No. That box and over here. All right, shouldn't be bad. Okay, I'm gonna try out a US golf course today Creative Golf 3D, dual swing cameras. Let me know what you think about those. I'll let a few people kind of Tune in real quick as that gets going, then uh, I will go ahead and get our course ready here. U.S. course at the Allen Ranch Golf Club. Get everybody in. Live chat on the screen. Drop a comment. Drop a question. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the first hole. Looks like we already got a dozen or so people tuning in. That's awesome. Appreciate it. Let me know what you think of Creative Golf 3D as we get started here. Have not done a Creative Golf video live yet. Uh, what do we got here? 294. Not going to be driving it that far. 232. Somewhere in that vicinity is where I'm going to be. And you almost have to like try to clear those bunkers. I like how they aim on this. All right. Marked ball, of course. This Good thing we're just getting started here because I need just a second to grab my a dot for this ball. I guess I grabbed a brand new ball, didn't uh, grab a dot for it, so it only takes me two seconds to throw a dot on it. Took the Mevo Plus outdoor today for the very first time. So that was interesting. I uh, actually had a lot of requests of people saying if E6 would work outdoor. And so I did a quick uh, session. The wind was just ridiculous. Let me know if the desktop audio is too loud. Looks like the chat's up on the screen. Does the Mule Plus put the SkyTrack out of business? That's a question a lot of people are asking. That's a question a lot of people are asking. I think that uh, there are benefits of both. Um, and maybe even negatives of both. The one that I, I've, I've been talking to people about, let me hit this ball real quick. Oh, toe ball is not where you want to be. Hopefully it's short. Haven't hit a driver yet today. That'll be all right. Um, so here's the deal. Skytrack can operate in a smaller space without distance. All right. And the reason it can do that is, is because that camera is only reading like a foot or something, you know. So um, it's also why a lot of people you now have some you know, concerns about it because it's reading such short data and it has some missed shots and um, has a delay, a couple second delay. I mean, there's uh, there's some, be you know, benefits and also some negatives there. I think that's the biggest thing I hear people talk about is the shot delay. It's a 187, so it's probably a six iron. It's 20 feet uphill though. Um, looking great. Oh, cool, man. I got the dual cams going. What do you think? That's actually a Canon 5D Mark III. <laughs> Um, so I'm wondering if it's like a lot higher quality or not. If I get close to it, it should be like auto-focusing and stuff. 
Um, got some higher tech equipment going today. What did I say? I got the wrong club. See what happens? I start talking. All right. Fix iron, 187. Let me know what you think about Creative Golf 3D. You know, this is, you know, uh, one of the pieces of software that is not being talked about a ton, but it's starting to get some buzz. I'm hearing some great things from people. I can help you acquire it if you're looking for it. That was a, just a tad behind the ball. That's going to be a layup. That's going to be. Yeah, not a clean shot. A clean shot. I got some work to do on this first hole, and I should have warmed up. That's all right, though. We're just demoing, having fun. 45 yards, 12 feet uphill. All right. Setup is really nice. I appreciate that. Thank you. Got the live chat going. Got dual cameras going. Let me know how the audio sounds, because now I've got noise gates and everything going, so you don't hear, like, me chewing gum. I chew gum a lot. I heard I, I could hear myself chewing gum on one of the videos, and I was like, man, that's embarrassing. That's terrible. So how to fix that? 45 yards, but it's 12 feet uphill. Hopefully it's not too much. Oh, it's way too much. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I should have I should have got that ball up higher. Man, this is a rough first hole, huh? <laughs> in the rough, 17 yards to the pin. All right, here's the Mevo Plus short game coming out here. We're working with Creative Golf on a lot of things, so if you guys, you know, have whether it be questions or comments or suggestions as you, uh, you know, watch, let me know. I'll bring up one right now. So as you saw that last shot, be in the friend zone, will you? Um, it, you notice how you couldn't see the ball flight and it didn't go up as fast. Um, they're working on that. What they were worried about when they first designed this, and it was great feedback that someone gave them, is they said, you know, those short shots, if it takes off really fast, um, you know, that might cause people to be dizzy or, you know, anything along those lines. And so they're going to see if they can uh, make it to where you can follow the ball, but it's not crazy, which I think is totally realistic. And I forgot to change the, I don't think that's a standard size hole. I may be wrong. I play with the kids a lot on creative golf because they have some fun short courses. Pretty hard too. <laughs> Way too hard. What was that? I just, I just crushed it. Oh my gosh. I double bogeyed the first hole. Hey, you go live. That's the risk you take. Audio is fine too. Nice. Awesome. Other than the double bogey on the first hole. I mean, that, that's pretty. Pretty pathetic. Why? Man, hit the putt too hard, hit the chip too hard, pull ball the driver. The whole point is just to be creative golf here, not my golf game, that's for sure. All right, cool hole. I like the desert with the green. The one thing about creative golf that you know you should also know is that looks like I can just bomb this right down the fairway as long as I hit a good shot. Um, is that it requires less CPU. So I know a lot of people are, you know, always panicked about having to buy this, you know, super expensive gaming computer. And uh, this has a lot less demand. Just go to, just Google Creative Golf and go on their website and look at the difference in CPU for their software versus, you know, the other softwares out there. That should be a little better was low and I knew it wasn't a great great drive but that was terrible went out and hit balls earlier it's funny I was playing good I guess I should have warmed up I felt like I was gonna be warm because uh, it still has me in driver mode that's hilarious I'm actually gonna do iron mode and just kind of get up there um, I really like the aiming on creative golf so if I just get up here somewhere, crush an iron, that way, I, I mean, when I'm warming up like this, man, how did I do that on a par five? Terrible drive. Pretty 
we go. That was a good ball. That'll get me up there. Oh, it's all uphill though. But I didn't get my distance. Oh man, this is a long par five. So how far out am I now? I'm still 201 and it's 12 yards uphill. Oh man, I should have paid better attention at this, this hole. That's for sure. <clears throat> that was terrible. Look how low that was. I'm just not playing good right now at all. I need to slow down and focus. And alive. What other questions you got coming in? Nice graphics on creative golf. It really is. You know, it's uh, different. It's very, very crisp, you know, and clean. It looks a little different than the other 3Ds. But I mean, like, look at the flag. The way the flag's going. Look at the birds flying around. There's a lot of detail. A lot of detail. So I'm a wedge. I can stick a wedge close still. Got a chance here as long as I don't sky it like I did last time. And I just hit that last iron so thin. Got to loosen up here. 52 yards. Whole point is, like I said, to show you guys creative golf. Definitely not to show you my golf game. Don't be too much again. See the ball fly up. Man, I knew when I went after it, it was going to be too much. That's a long putt again. Gosh darn it all. What a rough start. What a rough start. Look at this. Gosh. 45 feet to the pin. What I really like is, is how it shows your last shot, 64 yards total, 67 yards. It shows your ball position, your score. Oh, boy. Oh, I got it there. Be in the gimme at least. Jeez. All right, bogey. Man, not too bad. Not too great. Crisp is the word, yeah. And, and here's what's crazy. Crisp graphics, but requires a lot less CPU. So if you don't want to go out and, you know, uh, have some super expensive, uh, you know, gaming computer, it really gives you an opportunity. Cool hole. Check this out. Um, does Creative Golf offer a free trial? Yes, they do. Go to Creative Golf and download the free trial. Um, I believe right now, Flightscope, Unicore, uh, what else is on there? DC2, I think Skytrack's on there. Um, I should have got those details for you guys. I apologize for that. Um, I know all that stuff. I mean, I obviously work with a ton of different companies. Um, I was supposed to have a new system installed by this weekend. Shit, the tracking says that it's not going to be here until like uh, tomorrow or, or Monday. So I'll get that installed right away. I was telling people that I'd have a, a great, uh, you know, another system to compare. And of course, here we are. I'm slow shipping, really slow shipping. All that, I mean, Corona and everything, I think really has some things tied up. Amazon doesn't even do Prime right now. That's another toe ball. Going the wrong way. Holy moly. Look at this. I'd rather be hitting him on the toe though, because I was my miss was closed and left. And so I'm overcorrecting. Um, which I'll be honest, that I, I can fix that. 159, 10 feet downhill. So I take an eight iron. Let's hope we stick it close. I'll show you guys that aiming again. So I love how you can, you know, touch in the middle and then it shows you your next approach. All right, 159. Need a good one here. You get the game on fire. Should be decent. Draw around. Finally, a decent shot. About time. Love the data. Let me pull that data up for you guys. 
How many people we got watching? 18? I'll pull it up maybe here in a minute again too. But check this out. Last shot info. You have distance carry, deflection to the pin, launch angle, backspin, ball speed, side spin, direction, attack angle, so angle of attack that's missing from a lot of software is included, and club head speed. You have the smash factor in the middle, and then you can see that uh, spin was to the left. Okay, um, that's like an estimated club path is what they what they do there. So that that club path and face are not actually being sent from the unit. They're taking all the data and they're showing you that it was inside out and possibly slightly open. Um, so that's it's really cool. Um, you can replay your shot. All right, and then if you go back into that menu, you can reverse replay watching it come into the green. Let's just do that really quick. Here it comes. A little draw. Wish it would have drew just a little more. Man, isn't that cool? I mean, look at that, very crisp. I love the flag and everything. You can restart the hole. You can do a hole view. Um, you can show the flag when you're sitting out there so that way you can see where it's at. You can re-hit. Um, and then if you go up here, look at this. You can walk around and explore. You can go back to your default view at any time. You can skip to the next hole. You can practice anywhere you're at. You want to practice a shot, hit practice and start practicing. That's what the explore and everything is for. Um, game stats. I mean, look at this. It's, it's unbelievable. So we're not going to do any of that right now because I want to keep playing, but maybe we'll mess with the practice mode here in a minute. That's the thing. I still have so much to explore with Creative Golf. It uh, great software. It really is. But as I've always said, everybody wants to know which one I would pick. My pick is to have them all because they all have these, these strengths that are just fantastic. All right, we got to get our data down. Did I mess something up? I did. Guess what I did? I had this happen before. If I slide my putter along here, it can read. And, I, and I'm going to talk to them about that. Let's take a mulligan. Yes, I deserve it. There we go. I have to stop doing that. You can't like throw movement, you know, um, with a putter. It, it sees the club. All right. I usually use my foot or my hand, and it doesn't read that. But that's it's actually looking for the club. It's that sensitive. All right, here we go. 16 feet. I should have a chance. Got to get there though. Oh, the up, it must have been way uphill. Man, I had a chance for a birdie and I didn't get it there. I should have paid better attention. How far uphill was that? What a bummer. Oh boy, we're still over. I need some birdies. What other questions you guys have? Um, is it possible to make a post shot menu stay longer on the screen? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I might even be able to do it on the fly, but it's in the settings. Yeah, it's in the settings. Um, I don't know if they let you adjust those game options. Post shot duration right there. Seven seconds, five seconds. I'll just do seven seconds for you guys. Check that out. It lets you do all of the settings basically on the fly. I mean, that's fantastic. You can change your camera, your whole views. Um, it can do both ways. No way. That's awesome. Speed up 2x, 3x. Yeah, I'm telling you, it uh, just a plethora of options. So check this out. 167, 25 feet downhill. So, I mean, this is an 8-iron. I hope that answers your question there, Brother Lefty. All right. 8-iron. Cool course so far. I wanted to pick a U.S. course because everybody said, well, does it not have U.S. courses? Yes, it does. And their plan is to bring more. I'm actually helping them with that. So you have a course that you think would give authorization to them. Um, let me know because that's the, that's the key. Oh, did I pull it? I knew it. Damn, that was a good shot. Pulled. Oh. It had so much potential, <laughs> but potential doesn't get you near the pin, right? Just pull that a little bit. That is that has been my miss. 
42 feet flat. So this time I'm going to use my hand to push this down. I don't even think this matters. I, I just do it because I'm OCD. I've got this soft strike, so when you hit down into it, it pushes up a little bit, and I just want it to be perfectly smooth for the Mevo Plus. 42 feet flat. Yeah, zero inches. I should have looked at that other putt. Damn. All right. Too hard? No. Took off fast, but that was right at the hole. That had a chance. All these pars, though. The way it took off at first, I thought I crushed it. Seems that putting accuracy isn't the best. Smash that. I mean, the last one was uphill. That one was 42 feet. So if you're talking about the previous putt, that was all my fault. It was uphill. Um, but like that one, for instance, that was a 42 foot putt and you saw the speed on it and I left it just a little short. It wasn't bad. Um, I mean, I'm working with them to fine tune everything. So if I notice something, I actually wish I would have gone back to see how far uphill that was, because if it wasn't as much as I think it was, then it, they couldn't possibly adjust the slow and fast putting. So here's this aiming I was talking about. So it's 418 to the green. But obviously, I'm going to be hitting over here. So then it tells you what your next layup shot's going to be, which I love. So I'm going to aim like right here. Uh, where can we carry it to? So it tells you where the carry is. Oh man, that's going to be close. It's going to be close. We'll just aim right there, and then 185 to the pin. I love how it it shows you that follow up. Yeah, I went out of the putting green, and it actually seemed like putting was actually pretty pretty dialed. Um, but they're, they're tweaking everything, tons of, you know, uh, development going on in creative golf. So like I said, feel free to, to drop any feedback, questions, comments, or anything. All right. A little closer to the ball this time. Well, looky there. Much rather hit it on the toe and be able to correct it like that. That was my best drive in a couple weeks. I felt, just felt it hit right close to that sweet spot. Carry 260, that's, that's a good drive for me. 260, 270 is all of it for me usually. All right, what do we got? 156, 28 feet downhill. Eight iron. some strokes off though if I care about my score <laughs> oh thin thin to win maybe that was thin though thin to win man oh and it rolled out on me though man that landed just by the pin just lift, lift it up on that. Got a little jumpy. A little jumpy. I'm on the fringe. Do you putt this? Yeah, putting. It already got me on putting. I like how it just says, hey, you're on the fringe putt. I agree. Nice. You know, here's the deal. Nine inches downhill, okay? 32 feet. So that means I only need to hit this about, you know, 25 feet. That's what I didn't pay attention to that last time. Nine inches downhill, you hit this thing 30 feet, it's going way by the hole. Hopefully that's close. Look at this. Getting the putting down. Birdie. Let's shave some strokes off. Let's shave some strokes off. That's what we needed. Oh, what do we got coming in here? Is it possible to set the cam view on true eyes height five feet when standing over the shot? Now it looks to be above ground. Yes, there are all kinds of views to change. Let's mess with it right now. Um, curious on if you have to select your club pre shot. No, you don't, because Bevo Plus all it cares about is either a wedge, an iron, or a wood. And you'll see it's either on driver mode, iron mode, or wedge mode. 
and you'll see that in the lower right hand corner kind of below the chat there sorry for covering it up um it selects for you fantastic i love it um so you want to look at different views now there's whole view i think up here i saw what is this like default view that resets the view but i think there are different views like you're talking about whole view takes you through another flyover. You can hit that at any time, I think. I wonder if there, I thought there was a different view though. I'm really glad that you're asking that. Um, because if there isn't a different view, I can ask them if you can select a different view. Um, and I'll tell you what, these guys are amazing. I mean, they'll, uh, knowing them, they'll be like, we could send that to development. I mean, they're, they're really awesome. So here's that aiming thing I'm talking about. I'm going to carry it right to there, hopefully. And then I can see I have a nine iron left, 145. Okay. You can change that if you wanted to. Um, it says it's 19 yards downhill to the point I'm landing. All right. Not to the hole, to the point I'm landing. I mean, those are, that's like amazing pieces of information that you just don't get with a lot of, you know, uh, aiming in, in preview and software. I mean, they really thought that that map and aiming tool out. Thanks for taking care. Yeah, absolutely, man. You out of here? Um, anytime you guys need questions answered, the facts are is I've never tried to, you know, tell you I know everything. And I, I hope I never come off that way. Um, but I tell you what, I have a lot of resources and a lot of contacts, um, a lot in a short period of time here, the past couple months simulator wise. Um, let me know. I'll get you the answer. That was closer to the toe again, but I got lucky. Jailbreak technology. <laughs> I could feel it just got it squeezed out of that that center point of the driver. That was sweet, though. I'll take that. Man, it's funny how I just get a little farther away from the ball, or a little closer, and it just makes a lot of difference. Now I'm 119. Six feet uphill, it's almost like I have to hit a 50 here. Because if I hit a pitching wedge, it's gone. I mean, it's it's gone. It's going to go 130, you know, if I try to chop something off. That's a disaster. I'm going to hit a solid 50. Let's hope I can get this. I, I can hit this club great sometimes. I think I pulled it. Yeah. Knew it right away. I love how it hits on the screen. You can tell. That was the club. Just pulled it a little bit. That was the club. All right, 17 foot putt. We can make that. I love the questions. Appreciate you guys firing the questions in because you got to remember it's not just you that uh, you know may have a question or looking for an answer. Other people watching. You know, they might not even think of the question now, but you're asking it and now they know. And that's why I do these live streams. I mean, I could do you know, a bunch of different videos and everything, but I think that it's, uh, it's key to do live streams. You guys are chatting with each other. You know, we had somebody the other day talking about a hitting mat and then someone else chimed in and said, I had that mat. You know, this is what I think about it. So it was really cool. What ball do you play on the sim? Is it the same ball you play in real life? Jesse, yes. I play Pro V1. In the sim and actually i've been playing the pro v1x a little bit outdoor i like that spin near the green um i've been messing with it you know i mean i'm not a you know pure ball striker so is it making much of a difference every time probably not um, but i'm a pro v guy i like i like titleist all right let's see what we can do here 17 feet it's flat i'm gonna get it to the hole Oh no, is it there? Yep. All right. <laughs> Sweet. I gave it some juice, but I just, I was worried. It's, it's that, what a big difference when it's flat. Like, I mean, I hit that thing and man, rolled right out. So whoever was commenting on the putting, um, I think, I don't know if it was you brother lefty or who it was, but someone was, um, you know, there's a good example. Oh, look at this. 294 yard par four. Man, if you were a, a deep hitter, you have a chance to make it there. I, on the other hand, 
I think I'm going to lay up over here. Man, that's only 234. Now what if I hit it too far? That's 281. Do I aim right towards the middle and leave myself a chip? 247? And I mean, why not? I don't care if I'm in the rough, it's sim golf. That's how you're supposed to play, right? All right. It was really interesting going to the range today because I haven't been, you know, I uh, haven't been able to play any outdoor golf. It's been closed in Michigan. Things are finally opening up. Um, and seeing if things were the same outdoor as they were in here playing so much sim golf lately. And sure enough, I mean, the accuracy, I'll tell you what, it's amazing. Only thing that you got to be careful of is you can get away with some stuff in the sim. Um, you know, like a, a big chunk in here might still fly okay, and a big chunk outdoor mm -hmm, might just stop your club right before the ball. Yep, that's got to come around. Take it. That was once again just a little bit closer to the toe. I could feel it right away, um, but I'll take it. So glad I'm getting my driver in check slowly. Slowly. So bad for a week or two. And my back was messed up. My back's 95% now, I'd have to say. Um, man, it was messed up. What other questions you guys have? Anything? 46 yards. Not going to blow this one out of the water this time. Because I don't need to carry it 46. That's always my problem. I need to hit this thing like you know, 38 to 40. Be close. That's that view that I told them I wish it was a little bit closer. Um, you know, kind of goes up slow. I'll see, I, I, that was, I let too much off. Darn it all. I was so worried about those couple that blew over. But I also didn't jump at that one. I need to work on my short game. I need to get that body rotating, get those hands forward. Tell you what, I wish I could do what I watch on YouTube. Watch those Phil Mickelson videos on YouTube. Um, that guy's a short game machine. 39 feet, zero. This is a flat putt again. I'm getting lucky here. I've got a chance. Look at it, straight and flat. Got to get it there. I think I, I knew I hit that right. You can see. Oh, but I, I actually blew it by that time. <laughs> I hit it hard. I hit it really hard. That's 10 feet out. That's, that's going to be outside of gimme. I think I'm doing 10 foot gimmies. Oh, man. I mean, I pushed that putt a solid eight inches right of center. Sure enough, that ball went right. Sure enough. There's that putting accuracy for you. Once again, 10 feet. Easy putt. Go in the hole. Push the, look, at, look where that ball is. Push that thing again. If I take that straight down here, look where that would have been. Push it again. I think it was on the right side of the cup. This is a fun course so far. I like it. We've got 20 or so people watching. You guys let me know what you want to see. I have no idea how much battery I have on my... Uh, Second camera I'm using. I'd assume I have enough. Got a whole battery pack on there. All right. So 207. What do you guys do here? I mean, you lay a five iron a little short and let it roll towards the, the hole. That's what I'm thinking. You know, you got a lot of green ahead there. Oh, nice smooth five. Love it just to roll right in the hole. Right? That's what you want. Right. That was a decent strike. It's got a draw on it. Imagine that. Oh, it was the right idea, too. See how it would have rolled towards the hole? Hey, I'll take that all day. Long par three like that. All right. 
It's all about the flat stick now. All about the flat stick. 31 feet. 31 feet. A lot of people have been asking for creative golf on course play. I've only been able to do a little bit, so I'm glad to I'll uh, upload the stream after. Hope that's enough. Oh, man. I should have aimed farther left, I guess. It didn't have me playing that break. Thought it had me. Man, what a bummer. It could have been a mystery, too. It could have been a mystery. Every once in a while, you'll get a ball that takes off a little right or left. It's funny because it's been reading the right or left so, so well. All right, what do we got here? R5, 540 yards. Water. For the green and around the green. Ooh, that is no joke. That is no joke. Yeah, well, not in my shoulder. Dave, what's up, man? Brother Lefty is back. Is Creative Golf 3D taking wind in account with Mevo Plus? No. So I don't think there is a piece of software out there that is taking wind in account because I'm, I can double check on TGC 2019, but Henry is big. Henry's the CEO of, and on uh, Creator of Flightscope. Uh, he's big on accuracy. And so when I've been talking to developers, he didn't want the data manipulated. He wanted to send it to the software and let it show where the ball goes. Now elevation, obviously it's gonna carry farther and everything, um, but there's no penalties right now. In the rough, in the sand, um, I, T, but TGC allows those, so I, I'm, that's why I gotta double check on TGC. But on E6, for instance, no rough, no sand. Um, so yeah, no wind going on. I just walked 18 today in Michigan. Parking lot was full of cars, almost everyone was walking. Nice to be able to get out. Same here, Dave, I didn't play though, but I was out at the range in Michigan and it was, unbelievable i mean it's man it's been a long time good to have golf back in michigan tell me where you're from in michigan i'm uh i'm near the flint area 289 oh look at this hole this hole is going to be serious holy moly of course they're going to end me out with with this of course they are sitting at 32 oh boy yeah dave where, what course did he play in michigan not just where you're, you're from, but what course did you play? It was windy today. I mean, that's why I kind of gave up at the range. I, I went out to do some demo, um, you know, for the Mevo Plus and also just some practice. And man, it was so windy. I couldn't even use my microphone. It was gusting out there. Tell me how you played and how the wind was. <sighs> well, I knew that was going to happen. You saw how much of a mess that shot was. I don't know if you heard it. This, I hit it high and on a heel. I mean, you could hear the heel on that. High heel hook. Been hitting those drives good all day long. Now I've got that. Marshall. Okay, nice. What course in Marshall or near Marshall? What do I have here? That's 244 to there. Holy moly. What do I want to do here? Probably hit like a five iron layup. That way I'm not near the water. And then uh, have a 100-yard approach shot. That's what I like. The par 5. Creative Golf 3D free for subscription. Um, so it's PC. And it's uh, one price. They don't have a subscription model. Um, it's a fair price. And if you want, I'll put in my email right now. Shoot me an email if you're interested in Creative Golf 3D. Uh, anybody that's a subscriber of my channel gets special pricing and I've got a fantastic partner that handles it all for me shoot me an email there it is and uh and we can hook you up so Cedar Creek and Battle Creek that's hilarious you're not even that far from me that is a riot I don't think I've ever played Cedar Creek um but I guess I mean so I went to school at Ferris State um and I played a lot of those courses out there um you know, was it Tullymore, um, St. Ives, I, all these PGM buddies that, that went to Ferris State. Um, so it was uh, it was awesome. I am not a professional uh, or, you know, a golf professional. Put it that way. P I'm not a PGM graduate. 
not a PGA Pro. Ah, it's drawn though. That is not what you want to do. Now I'm going to be okay because it's only a hundred yard shot. <laughs> if I just wouldn't have like closed that club down so hard. Oh man, I just, let's hope it doesn't hit that. I don't think it's going to because I'm standing at the ball. Um, all right, 103 yards. Just need to stick this close. Still doing all right here. Still doing all right. What other courses are over by Battle Creek? Um, these are all up north. I'm assuming you have to drive up to, uh, um, what do you call it? I always want to say um, Acadia Bluffs. Well, that was a little thin. Could be okay, though. Get up there. Definitely a little thin. Lift it up again. I don't know why I'm jumping like that. Definitely got a little jump going on. You guys can probably see it. You got dual cameras. <laughs> um, one price forever. Yeah, one price forever, man. Um, like I said, shoot me an email. I'll get you details. They've got different packages. Um, they're all fair. Yeah, shoot me an email. Dave, my home course is Warwick Hills, Grand Blank, Michigan. Warwick Hill. Home of the Buick Open. Got to watch Tiger Woods when I was younger. Uh, now I get to watch the PGA Champions, which is pretty cool. VJ Singh still playing out at Warwick Hills after battling Tiger all those years. I mean, that guy's a machine. I, I mentioned it in one of my videos. If you've never seen uh, VJ Singh's workout regimen, you got you to gotta look it up. The guy's an animal. I mean, I don't, he's, he's getting up there in age. He's an animal. 13 feet. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. <laughs> that was a par. Those first couple holes killed me, though. They really did. Man, they killed me. What other questions you guys have? Um, I'm going to probably wrap things up here. About an hour-long stream. You got to see a lot of creative golf. Um, I'll tell you what I can do. I can jump out real quick. And uh, look at this course. I really like this course. This is one of those U.S. courses. Um, I mean, it's just a cool course. I can jump out real quick. All right. I can show you guys around. Exit without saving. You can save your game. Really cool. Um, I like the practice facilities. The driving range has all that data. Um, there's the range academy with all the targets. They've just got a standard straight range. They've got this long drive, and then they've got this, you know, skinny uh, Stoke Park. The Range Academy is cool, though. I'll show it to you guys really quick. So this is what's really cool. You've got little pin distances. You can, you know, whatever you want to work on. Let's say we want to work on 125, okay? And you can change them after. Um, how big do you want the target circle? You want it bigger? You can get it bigger. You want it 20 yards, 50 yards? Elevation spacing, distance spacing, that's where all your grid and then you can set the course conditions. How hard do you want the green? And then there's the wind and everything. Like I said, I don't think they're allowing wind. I'll verify it for you guys. But check this out. Sister lives 10 minutes from Warwick. That's all. That is awesome. It's a small world, man. It's a small world, especially in the sim world. You know, what is there, 60 million golfers, which is crazy. But uh, I mean, you know, there's not a, a ton of people in the sim world yet. It's growing rapidly, but can you purchase the normal Mevo and compare the data, a data of Mevo Plus? You want to know what's funny? I had the normal Mevo, and uh, I sold it. I probably shouldn't have. I mean, I have all this crazy equipment, and I used to use the Mevo in here and put it up against HD, and it was close. Um, so know that comparison I've already done with HD. It is close to HD. Um, but I, I should probably get one again. I'll just uh, I'll contact uh, my flight scope rep. Have him uh, have him get me one. All right. So let's just hit a little pitching wedge. One twenty five. Oh, that was a little fat. Might get there. Yeah, a little. Yeah, one eleven. 
think I'm just getting tired for the day. I was up early. I went and hit a bunch of balls into the wind. It was terrible. Let's see if I can hit another one. What do you guys think of this range, though? Check this out. See the ball flight? That's what I love. And then it stacks up your shots. That was better. Got a draw, though. I overcorrected my, my miss. All right. Better, though. This is what I love, though. I get to see these shots in a couple different ways. So it's a fun range to play. You've got your 3D tracer, and then it stacks your shots up here. Okay, so I can see ball speed, launch angle, backspin, shot distance, both carry and total, to the pin, and then the, the deflection. And it's all right there. And then you can also do this. Dispersion. There's your apex. There's the dispersion. I can delete the shots. Um, I mean, it's really cool. Let's delete the shots, and let's start over. You can stay on that view if you want. I did a range demo video a little while ago, but we might as well wrap up this live stream with a little range demo because, um, man, it's just fantastic. Let's see if I can correct this problem I've got right now. I overcorrected the last one. A little right, I think. Yeah, but that's okay if it draws back. So much better. And, and, and the thing is, is pitching wedge, even if I chop a little off, I feel like I always carry it 130, 129. And then there's your attack angle and everything. We'll pull up that one more time if anybody missed it. Check this out. Uh, last shot info. Distance, carry, deflection, to pin, launch angle, backspin, ball speed, side spin, direction, angle of attack, club head speed, smash factor. You've got an estimated club path with your you're showing your left spin. I mean, how cool. You can do a replay. If you want to see a replay, there's the replay. So you can see the tracer. And then we can go back. Jesse, I agree. I like the way that looks, stacking shots and showing data. Isn't that amazing? I mean, this is like, this is how you do work right here. You know? I mean, check that deflection out. You can see I started that ball to the right, came a little bit left. I'll be honest with you, that's a sweet shot for me. I'll take that shot all day long. And now let's say that I need to mimic that. I need, I need that shot. I'm going to see how close I can keep this ball to that trace. All right? I wish I could hit that shot every time. That's, that's my problem. I'd be a better golfer if I wasn't so inconsistent. I mean, it's going to be close. I just didn't hit it clean. Yep, there you go. A little short. But now I can see what happened there, you know? I hit just a tad behind the ball, didn't hit it crisp. My, my traces are stacking up. I can look at my deflection in 2D real quick. And you can see, look at the apex, how much lower it was on that shot when it wasn't clean. And you can see how that ball actually started center and then went left. Didn't really start to the right like I normally do. Start stacking shots. Look at, you got three left, seven left on the deflection. To my center aim that I'm at right now. Let's see if we can get this one kind of right in the middle. Really been paying attention to my setup. I was setting up closed on accident. So weird how you get into a habit you don't even know it. <sighs> nope, that's my miss. I feel like I might have. I don't know if I was, I mean, look at that. When you pull a shot, man, it goes too far. All right, let's leave that one up there. If you guys have any questions about this practice facility, I'll, I'll keep it going here just for a minute. Got 20 people still, uh, still on. Appreciate you guys all tuning in. Great chat going on. All right. Got to do some work here. One more. I'm just grabbing it. Look at it. It's going to be, look at that. <laughs> I'm just grabbing it just a little behind the ball. I feel like I'm just, I'm kind of getting tired. Pretty happy with those shots. I mean, they're not, they're not that bad. Just kind of giving up a little bit. I just need to do some work there. So if you guys don't have any other questions, 
I'll probably wrap this up. Go back to uh, the main menu. You can save that if you want to. I'm just going to exit. I'll kind of show you guys the course list. I have all the courses. Um, they're all over the world. Look at these courses. Holy moly. There's the U.S. courses. They're adding to that. These are those fantasy courses that they've actually just created, um, you know, using their own creativity. I mean, it's awesome. Um, just going to go back. Uh, tons of different practice, team training, club fitting, putting, practice on course, chip and putt, tournaments. They have online tournaments. Um, I'm not logged in right now. I'm not going to log in, but you can go in there and, uh, you know, play whether it be closest to the pin, different things like that. And then golf ismo uh, or golf ismo should say I always say golf ismo but um, target golf easy golf mini golf demolition golf bridges barrels darts grand slam it's it's all fun stuff I mean it's it's really cool um, I'll go into target golf really quick I'll just show you guys I mean it's kind of a riot you got these little sandy islands you can go to um, I mean why we're doing this we might as well might as well check it out right 120 yards. Uh, Max, is the X3 about the same as TrackMan and Go Quad is one better than the other? Um, a GC Quad is probably what you're talking about. I mean, those are, the, those are three of the most heavy hitting portable launch monitors out there. I mean, FlightScope X3 is their flagship model. The TrackMan TM4 is their flagship. And the GC Quad is Foresight's flagship. Supposedly, uh, the TM5. Uh, will be because it, it's, it's TM4 right now. It'd be TM5 is coming. Um, I'm actually in talks with a TrackMan rep. I feel like that would be a piece of hardware that would be invaluable for the studio down here. And he's going to come over, I think, and uh, give us a demo and we'll talk about it. Let's see if we can chop a little bit off of this pitching wedge. Go out to that target. What do you guys think of this? Normal pull for me. I mean, just, just yanked that thing. <laughs> in the weeds. Yeah, it's telling me, hey, you didn't go in the water. Um, but yeah, I mean, those are all, you know, $20,000 units. The quad's not as much. Um, Trackman's the most expensive. I mean, you could buy an X3 in the, in the quad. Uh, trying to go off my hip here. But, uh, you know, those are those are almost comparable. They all have different subscriptions and everything. I mean, it's... A little complicated just to kind of fire everything off. What we'll kind of, you know, that you want FSX, you know, 2020 with your Foresight GC Quad. I think, and I think you even have to have it to use other software. Just every shot. I mean, it's funny I corrected that, and now I'm doing the same thing. That went too far. What do you guys think of the targets? Let's see if I can actually hit one decent here. I'm just going to aim a little right and go soft. All right, here we go. That should be closer. Still drawing hard on me, though. Eh, not bad. Not bad. I just got that little miss going on. A little inside out and closed. Um, any other questions? Before I end the live stream, I mean, this has been an awesome chat. I think we got a great look at Creative Golf 3D. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Um, let me know what else you want to see. Um, I'm going to upload this live stream after, so please comment and like the video. And uh, I will talk to you guys later with something else new and fresh. Have a great night.